Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel to another episode of Darkfire Heroes and the next big event is right around the corner. It's called Caravan of Souls doing the remix events this summer. In this video I will already give you a short overview about the event. So which challenges will be there for you as well as the insane rewards you will be able to get through the event. If you're curious about it, just stay tuned and watch this video until the end. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. I'm Stormy and if someone else is new here, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for free to my channel. Here we go, it's the next big event and I really like to see it. That's already the overview for the whole event. A lot of rewards will be legable for you if you play it. And before we get into it, let's have a short overview about the background story. Summer comes to an end and the fall approaches as we rejoin the Caravan of Souls on its journey through the arcane valley. In this real magic and trickery lurks behind every corner portraits or uh, portals, where the realms open and close, and the spirit of a mad wizard calling himself the Mistwalker roams freely. In this return, you get to try out the Doppelganger Arena brawls, as well as updated versions of the original boss fights and wave attack. Have fun and enjoy the last of the summer remix events yeah and that is really interesting for me as this is the first event i can really replay as i already played the caravan of souls event when it was there the first time for sure we got some challenges waiting there for you it will be a full weekend out of six challenges on saturday we have the level challenge called a cane canyon magic foes and ancient structures await those who dare enter the arcane canyon that will be an interesting level change, maybe 10 levels, but we will see this on Saturday. As next we got the boss, the Soul Stealers, who will claim your soul, the Dark Fae Sorcerer or the Dreadful Lich. So that means that there will be two different bosses, uh, as we have seen it in the past as well. And for sure we will do a guide about it, which damage you should choose against which boss. And yeah, we will see that on Saturday as well. And last but not least, cast the Doppelganger Castle. Are you seeing double? Nope, you are actually seeing what trouble. Hmm. That's interesting. I'm really curious to see that level. And on Sunday, we have three challenges as well. The wave attack. Open the gate. A gate to the dimension of dread has been opened. Slay all the full shade demons as they pour from the rift onto the battlefield. Furthermore, we have a race brawl, doppelganger race. If it was hard to stop one auto from jumping, just imagine stopping four or don't imagine it. How about you try it out for yourself? Hmm, that is interesting because um, it already says stopping four autos from jumping. That can already be a limitation that we can only use four heroes. Um, but I'm really interested to see this challenge where we need to face four autos. That will be crazy. And last but not least, the level challenge, Riamo Vanguard, we already know this, and an old deserted mine to unlock the secrets at the bottom. The two Riamo heroes have joined up with the Yilga, as she is the mining expert among the heroes. These three heroes have been allowed the last time as well, and I will for sure link you with a video about the day, or about the last Caravan of Soul event, so you should see it on the top right side of your screen, somewhere in between this video. So that is the, or these are the challenges which we will meet at the weekend. Coming now to the different rewards, starting with the skins as usual. We have the double snake portray. I think I already got it, but I'm not 100% sure. We got, furthermore, three different portrays. We got the Mistwalker, which I am using. That is actually my favorite one. And we got uh, Vadoma as well as Vanny. They got introduced the last time when this event was here. And you can read those or test. And available in the event shop and shop totalizer and when it can be won in the leaderboard so at least a free one for you. You just need to get to a certain position, most likely top 500 doing the event. And now coming to the first banger, we got two insane skins which I don't own. Ceremonial Plate Rybat and Armored Uto will be available in the shop. And if they are available for event coins, hopefully one of the two will be. I will definitely purchase it as I really like those skins if they are there for event coins. If they are there for gems, I need to consider it. Maybe I will purchase them. But I really like the design of Armored Oto, to be honest. 
And the golden rivet is nice as well. Going now to the first items. These are the rare gear items. The unbreakable orb, acid vidal or wheel. And the scarab amulet tells us exclusive. I'm not 100% sure if they are event exclusive, but I believe it if it is telling us it. Um, unbreakable orb is quite nice to use for the early stage. So if you still need some good rare items, I think it was one of the good ones. But we will for sure have a look at it. And for sure they will be available in the event shop for event coins. And we will here see if they are worth to purchase on the weekend as well. Now the spells as well as the epic items. We got Purify once again as well as the War Golem. Epic spells give immunity to debuffs or summon a massive golem and war golem as well as purify got recently buffed so they might be worth to get and use later on in the campaign or in the pvp mode. Got the arcane pendulum as an attack epic gear and the infinite hourglass available in the event shop and shop totalizer so one of them will be the reward for most likely 65,000 event coins spent. We will have a look at it at the weekend. And just from the design, I really like the arcane pendulum with the blue skull. It looks incredibly nice. The war golem can be one in the leaderboard. So I think most of you have unlocked it already due to the um, band chest, but for sure you can get some further cards. Of and I saw him quite often in the latest race stages against some uh, human players. So maybe it's worth to use him now. I have still did not level him up, so I'm not using him. But if you have leveled him up, that might be a good choice. Is that set coming as next to Benny? That was one of the two heroes who got introduced to the game at the Caravan of Souls original event, and we got him here. That's a rad, rare dark healer, and the leader of the Caravan of Souls has not only the power to heal his allies, but also them of any debuff that may be slowing down their performance so this is that's his special ability is healer but he can cause debuff immunity and will heal your light you need so that is quite a nice one and somewhere in the future when i will level up my heroes i can max him out and we will have a look at him and analyzes he will be available in the event shop as well as the shop totalizer as next we are coming here to Badoma. Badoma is crazy because she's doing crazy amounts of damage. A common light damage dealer, like all Riamo, she is drained in both stagecraft and fighting. She wields magic bolas that she uses with deadly accuracy. Yeah, she's causing magical damage quite similar to Adeline, but her uh, skills are quite nice. I think she's reshooting if there's a certain amount. Of a chance I, I i'm not 100 percent sure but um i know some are playing her as she is really reliable as she is causing magical damage available in the event shop as well as the shop totalizer as next coming now to leovani as well as evan both will be, will be available and can be won in the leaderboard common hero first made his appearance in the battle of south march that's leovani um i think most of you him, but there is the chance to unlock him once again. The more we got Ellen, the frozen hunter makes a return. She is an epic hero, that's why I will highlight her now. And here we have her, as well as her rating. She is normally unlockable via level 24, but if you didn't reach it, you can unlock her now at the weekend. And she is from the rarity epic, a damage dealer from the light element, causing physical damage with her auto attack. The overall rating is an A. But she has a B plus at campaign, arena, castle, and waves. Only a C rating at boss and levels and a B rating at race. But in some circumstances, with a light boost, she can be quite good to use. And I've used her at the last Caravan of Souls event as well. I can remember it. I didn't have that many heroes, and as soon as I unlocked her, she was quite nice to lose you to use at the level. And she got two tech slots, one defense slot, and two magical slots with a DPS on level 10 of 37.62. Quite. So that's it about the event itself. Hopefully, you've liked this video. That's the full overview, and I'm really liking that um, that graphic here once again. So shout out to the devs, doing an amazing, amazing shop, and I'm really hyped for the weekend. On Saturday, I will do a video a little bit later than usual, as I'm not at home. 
I'm in the theme park and I will do it right after it when I get home in the evening. But on Sunday, I will do it in the early. So hopefully you have liked this video. If yes, share it with your clan mates and your friends that they all get to know the knowledge already right now. Um, we'll see us in the next video about Darkfire Heroes. Wish you all a nice day.